What's up guys, Tom Yates here, and welcome back to another episode of the My Thought series. Today's battle is going to be between the Megalodon and the Mosasaur, two of the largest sea creatures to ever swim the oceans. This is the most controversial sea battle out there. A lot of people think that the Mosasaur would win, a lot of people think the Megalodon would win. I'm going to tell you guys who I think would win and why, along with a bunch of other facts about these two creatures. So yeah, let's start off with the Mosasaur. We're going to be doing the real life Mosasaur for this. The Mosasaur measures out to be about 50 to 60 feet in length and is overall very large in width and in length, of course. It has huge jaws, huge teeth, and a relatively powerful bite force. Mosasaur's bite force measured all the way up to about 13,000 pounds, which is very powerful. You definitely don't want to get bit by a mosasaur, especially with those large teeth. Two rows of teeth as well, which is also another factor that can help the mosasaur in this fight. The mosasaur basically ate anything it could, including turtles, smaller mosasaurs, plesiosaurs, and a few other creatures as well. Obviously, it can swim very fast and very well. The only downfall for the mosasaur is the fact that it has to breathe every once in a while because it's not fully aquatic but it is mostly aquatic, so it can spend a lot of time underwater, but it can also spend quite a bit of time on land as well. Like, it's kind of like a dolphin or a whale in a way. It has to kind of go out for air every once in a while, but not like every five seconds or... It's about like a few minutes or maybe 10 to 20 minutes. So yeah, that's definitely a downfall for the Mosasaur. Now I'm going to be moving on to the Megalodon. The Megalodon measures out to be about 60 feet in length, just like the Mosasaur, so... They are very similar in size, but the Megalodon may have a slight size advantage in this fight. The Megalodon has the most powerful bite force of any sea creature to ever exist, measuring up to about 18,000 to 36,000 pounds in bite force, which is absolutely absurd. The fact that something could have that powerful of a bite force and roam the oceans is very scary and a big threat to a lot of the sea creatures and the ecosystem that it lives in. The Megalodon, of course, had very long, sharp teeth. Its teeth measure around 7.5 inches is on average if you have, if you guys have a ruler or a measuring stick just measure that out and just see how large that actually is now look at that and then imagine 36,000 pounds of bite force coming along with that it's very deadly and should not be looked down upon by anyone as for fighting experience they do have very similar fighting experience they didn't really have too many big threats in the ocean i mean just look at them they're probably the biggest threats in the ocean alone so they basically ate the same things except megalodons ate a lot of different whales which kind of helps them in this fight in a way because they're kind of hunting big things and killing big things, so definitely an advantage there. And one of the bigger advantages that the Megalodon has over the Mosasaur is the fact that it doesn't have to go out for air. In a fight like this, where it's going to be intense and the fight definitely will not be taking very many breaks, the Megalodon needs that fully aquatic aspect to come into play and just kind of use that to try and kill the Mosasaur when it goes up for air. Because that's something that even great white sharks play nowadays. When seals go up to the water, like go up to the surface, they go up at full speed, just kill them right away. So it's kind of in their blood where they just go up at full speed. And that's something the Mosasaur is going to have to watch out for. But who knows how long this fight will actually last. Maybe the Mosasaur could possibly quickly kill the Megalodon which would be very surprising in my opinion. And maybe it won't have to go up for air, and it could just sell it quickly and just move on with its day. Alright, now I'm going to be talking about who I think would win this fight. Now with all that said, and them being about the same size, both having very powerful bite forces, in my honest opinion, I believe that the Megalodon would win this fight. I know a lot of people are going to be mad because Mosasaur did show up in Jurassic World, but this is not the same Mosasaur we're talking about. If that was the Jurassic World Mosasaur, obviously the Jurassic World Mosasaur would win because it's just so much bigger, so much stronger, and it was genetically made, so obviously it would kill the Megalodon in that scenario. But for a real-life Mosasaur going up against the real-life Megalodon, I think the Megalodon is much more powerful has much bigger jaws, a much more powerful bite force, and is slightly larger as well. And of course, doesn't have to go up for air every once in a while, so that's a big advantage. That's kind of like someone with asthma fighting someone without asthma, and every five minutes, the person with asthma has to go and take a hit of the inhaler just so they can keep fighting. It's not something you want to have during a fight, and you want to be able to fight throughout the entire time and not take any breaks. Just you have a bigger chance of winning that fight, but the Megalodon is definitely the one without the asthma let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm sure there's a lot of different opinions in the comment section below. I know a lot of people are going to be mad that I picked the Megalodon. A lot of people like the Mosasaur a lot better, but it's my opinion. It's not 100% factual or like confirmed that the Megalodon would actually win this fight. So yeah, leave your opinions in the comment section below. If you think the Megalodon will win, 
tell me why. If you think the Moses order win, tell me why. And as always, guys, leave a like and have a nice day.